What's going on guys? It's your boy Shade Tempest. Welcome back to the daily SD grind where today we have finally gotten to watch the official Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer release trailer, which is currently playing in the background for you guys if you haven't seen it yet. Now, first of all, I just want to say if you like this kind of content, please hit that sub button if you're new. If you're not new, then hey, welcome back to the channel. Much love to you guys. If you don't sub, it's perfectly fine. I'll still love you. Anyways, we got a lot to talk about here. First of all, the multiplayer, I, I watched the whole Vonda Harsh live stream, right? They have a lot of new things coming along and a lot of old things returning into the game that I personally like and dislike. First of all, I like how Dead Silence is now a perk. I do. And so far, they could obviously release this later. This is just alpha gameplay. But so far, they do not have awareness, which is great. Something I did notice is shotguns are really good for a secondary weapon. They're not primaries. You don't run shotguns as a primary. They have decent range. They have decent damage. They do decent work. They're really good. And personally, I think I'm going to see myself running a shotgun more than I will a pistol. Which is kind of a problem, but hey, we'll figure that out when we get to that, you know, when we get to that road. Anyway, sniping is definitely back in this game. And as you saw right there in that trailer, he quickscoped that guy. That was pretty cool. But sniping in this game is 100% back. It's got decent range, decent damage, everything about it. The ADS feels nice. The sniping is back. <laughs> and that's good for you snipers out there if you like sniping with your snipers. And that's perfectly fine for you guys. doesn't matter to me. There's no sniper glint currently, however. And I hope they add that in future uh, updates. Because I personally, I know older Call of Duties don't have a sniper glint, but it is great to know where you're getting sniped at, so you know where to look for the next time you get sniped. Now, of course, there's a kill cam, but there's no kill cam in hardcore. So, for all of you hardcore fans out there, you're going to be struggling a little bit to figure out where you're getting shot from from a sniper. Anyways, that's my rant on sniping. Sniping's great. Shotguns are pretty good. The movement system feels good. It looks good. It acts good, everything seems smooth, and it kind of feels arcadey, while at the same time, not being too realistic, like how the Alpha was in the original Modern Warfare when that came out. Not the original, but like, you know, 2019 Modern Warfare. The movement system in that was too clunky, and they ended up fixing it in the beta. Anyways, we are here in the Alpha version of this game, and it is smooth. It is great. There's no tactical sprint or double sprint, whatever you would call it in Modern Warfare. That is not in this game. However, you will get a sprint speed boost for the first second you start sprinting. To make it, it's like a takeoff sprint, I think Vondahar called it. You just speed up. Anyways, right now you're seeing gameplay of I'm Marksman. He's playing Black Ops Cold War currently. He got um, invited to play the private, uh, yeah, the private alpha gameplay beta. So you're going to see him sniping. You're going to see how good sniping looks in this game, by the way. And here's the shotgun he's also running. It's really good. You can't break that window, Marksman. You goof. You can break this window. <laughs> I was already watching him play this. That's how come I know what's going to happen. See how disgusting that is? This is a full auto shotgun. Marksman's stream will be linked in the description below, by the way, if you want to check him out for more gameplay as well. Subscribe to his channel, subscribe to his uh, Twitch, whatever. Just go show him some love because I stole his content. This is stealing right now. And I feel bad about it because I love the guy and I just I just don't have any gameplay I can show myself. So I have to show somebody else's. And I chose Marksman because he's a great gamer. He knows what he's doing and he's good at the game. Anyways, weapon balancing. I think most of the weapons in this game are pretty balanced. Shotguns seem really good up close and it's kind of medium range. And later on in the video, you will see like a decent range where he sh three shot somebody with his auto shotgun. Look at the damage. It's insane. Wow, another 74U. <laughs> AK-74U. It's an it's SMG. However, it seems to be a good SMG and assault Beaters rifle. So hopefully they're going to nerf it just a teeny bit before beta comes out and or actual the game releases. But the AK-74U seems to be one of the best weapons so far <laughs> that people have access to try actually, in this alpha. Kind of me. Which is pretty crazy if you think about it. The AK-74U was one of the best guns in COD 4 as well when that game uh, first released. First and people dick rode that all day. All day. <laughs> Everybody loved the AK-74U. Now let's that? talk about attachments, perks, etc. There's a, supposed to be about 54 attachments that you can put on your assault rifles. At least according to Vondahar. 
I don't know how many attachments you're going to have for your SMGs, your shotguns, etc. But they did state that almost all assault rifles have at least 54 attachments that you can put on in the gunsmith. Damn. Which is insane. That leaves a ton of customizability. And... I see how it is. And when I'm in the it game, makes it to where there's a ton of different classes, a ton of different I'm content gonna, that you could do really and do make that, that could be funny for here, future okay? videos. You've made me lose twice, wild already. cards are also back. There's only four wild cards that you can choose from. There's Gunfighter, oh, Perk man. Greed, Danger Close, and Lawbreaker. Gunfighter oh, unlocks clips. three additional attachment one. slots for your Beautiful primary one. weapon, which is not that bad. Maybe some of you will use it because you can already yeah, use, I think, five. Yeah, you can use five attachments automatically, and then you can unlock <laughs> unlock three more to have eight attachments total on your primary weapon, which is insane. Perk Greed. You get to equip an extra three perks, which isn't that bad, and most likely most people are going to be running that in Search and Destroy. Keeping that in mind, it would make most sense to be doing that because you're going to want to run like Ghost and Cold Blooded. Since score streaks in this game oh, carry on after right, death, that what that means is if you die, you do not lose your score streak. It will continuously keep adding itself or keep going up when you're dead. So you can call in your UAV next round or on your next life or whatever game mode you're playing. You will still have your score streak, which is insane. And that's going to completely change up search and destroy and the meta of Call of Duty in general. That's the thing I was talking about. That shotgun, that range is absolutely mind-blowing. But hey, we'll figure that out later. Danger close. Equip extra lethal and tactical equipment and start with max ammo. That wouldn't be too bad, and that would be a possible use for search and destroy depending on the map. Because if there's a decent spawn nade that requires two grenades, then yes, you would want to use that. But I feel like, personally, Perk Greed, that wild card is going to be a lot better for Search and Destroy. But that's just my opinion. And the last perk is Lawbreaker. Equip any weapon in either slot and equip any perks. Which means overkill, pretty much. Also, I think that means... I might be wrong, but I think that means you can uh, also run like your secondary as a primary. I might be wrong, though. Take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> But yeah, I personally think per, uh, Perk Greed is going to be the best wild card for Search and Destroy. But hey, we'll figure that out when we get there as well. Now, this game is not going to be featuring specialists like in Black Ops 3, for example. But instead, it's going to go the Modern Warfare route with field upgrades. Which isn't a horrible idea, and I'm not too against it. It is kind of annoying, but hey, that's fine. Uh, one of the field upgrades is called a trophy system. We all know what that does. It does the same thing as it's always done in every Call of Duty. Proximity mines, they're just bouncing beddies, but as a spe uh, field upgrade. EMP, not entirely sure how that's going to play out, but I think you're just going to throw it and it's going to disable AIs, you know, AI um, stuff like a turret, for example. A field mic, which is an interesting one. It's pretty much, think about it as the motion sensor from Black Ops 1. Except the field mic's not going to be that great in Search and Destroy because people are most likely just going to run Ninja, which counters the field mic anyways. And then the final one is Stim Shot. I'm not entirely sure what the Stim Shot does quite yet, but if it's anything move, like move. Modern Warfare, it's either going to heal you or it's going to refresh your sprint speed. Now, this game obviously doesn't have a tactical sprint, so that makes it kind of pointless. So, more than likely, it's not going to do that. So, Stim Shot, I'm actually kind of curious on what that would do in this game mode. Score streaks seem kind of balanced. I still don't know how I feel about the score streaks lasting on death. I don't know how I feel about that quite yet, but they seem pretty balanced in their own little way. They're not overly dis disgusting, so that we don't have to worry about. Anyways, that was Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That was what I wanted to talk about. One thing I do want to point out is the health bars at the bottom of the screen, and I really hope it's not there by beta. I just personally don't like it. I think it removes an aspect of strategy and skill seeing your health bar, but it's not super impactful, so it's not super important. Also, best play is back as well if you're a respawn player, just to let you know there. Anyways, that is all I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.